Okay, I got it to uh, point and a half inches past my Zerg. Try everything here. From the jig. Okay. Now, remember what I told you guys to start off center? This is why. It'll end up pretty close to uh, being even again. Alright. If you started off in the very center of your uh, cords, you're gonna like have like two inches left on this one and it ain't gonna work. So, do that. You can all see this. You'll see how the Solomon's bar looks. It's it's a normal Solomon's bar. Okay. And I guess when I do mine, I get a little, little concave shape. So it's a little rounded on this and a little cupped on this side. That's just how I end up doing it. What I like to do is just take it, hold the two cores, just pinch it between my hand and the other, and just run it back and forth real stiff. Do that for a couple of minutes. And flip it around. Do the same thing. You do this for a while. This evens out your shape of your braid. And then you take this one and just pull it up tight. Okay. There we go. Get some more. It's too hard or fast if you're using a PVC jig like I am. Otherwise you'll start melting the darn plastic. Okay. Cinch it up. Now that went up almost. It's about nine inches, but I need to go a little bit more. Alright. Pull it up. Tighten things up a little bit here. And we are about actually about eight and a half inches. So I'll have to put a couple more down here. But that's, now, uh, you'll notice, it looks a little different now. Okay. It's just a little tighter. Alright. It's a little flatter. And it's nice and stiff. Okay. Only right, when it's done, it'll hold its shape really well. Right. So I'm going to add a couple more to this, and then again, we'll tie this off with a crown nut. Okay, here we'll orient our strands back to the four directions best as we can. Okay, and this is a crown knot again. So it goes over to the right and over for east. East comes up and over both. Goes over the north. North goes over both. Both. And then west comes down and through the loop you made. Okay. 
name once that's done we'll commence with a walnut goes under okay that one will go under the north north will go under both go under the west west will come up and under and then up through that first loop or bite that you made all right See that? All right. First one will come up under everything and just come up in the bite that it's made. So it's next to the crown that you did. All right. This one will come under where my thumb is. Comes up under everything. Communist. Get under there. There we go. So. And this one. Comes up under everything. It does everything makes one complete lap around the braid. Not going to anything else. The last one is this one. Come up underneath here. Looks like I'm going around three times, but I'm actually not. first and then go out to the opposite side snug that up Pull on the bottom at the top Pull on the bottom and at the top Pull at the bottom and at the top Keep doing that, and when you when you when you do this, kind of roll this little forward, even it out, and you want it the same size as the one you did over here. Okay, actually that one's just a little bit too small. I should have done it that tight, but I did. Now I'm gonna have to learn to work with it. All right. The knot's a little bigger. Remember when I said don't make it too tight? You know, that looks a little too tight. So I'm going to have to do this one just as tight so it doesn't look weird. Alright? Don't make it as tight as I just did over there because then that looks a little funky. Not too bad, but anyway, let me tighten this up and then we'll continue on finishing this wrestling.